Hi guys, so today I would like to discuss with you about uh, what are for me the best books uh, regarding uh, WebAssembly if you want to learn more and uh, actually uh, compile and develop and use a WebAssembly uh, module um, either as a standalone inside the standalone VM or either uh, directly on the browser. So uh, I will split uh, those uh, books uh, in two different uh, Path, I will say the first one is the ones that are mostly related to uh, C and C++ compiled to WebAssembly when uh, the other one are the one more related to uh, um, WebAssembly module compiled using a uh, Rust code. So let's start. The first one is actually the Learn WebAssembly books. This one, um, it's actually a really nice book, really a complete book. Uh, it's uh, for me one of the, the, the best one you, you can buy. It's actually um, a pretty old one, uh, but especially if you are dealing with C and C++ code, um, there is a huge part regarding unscripted and there is a lot of uh, graphics uh, inside uh, that actually uh, describe pretty well the uh, um, internal mechanism related to uh, WebAssembly. The second one will be uh, WebAssembly in Action. So is uh, this uh, specific uh, book right there. Uh, so uh, I actually have the um, online version, the, the ebook version of this one. Uh, this one is useful if um, you are only focused on WebAssembly um, on the browser for me, um, and especially how you want your WebAssembly module to interact with uh, JavaScript. So especially regarding this one, also regarding like threading, um, like WebAssembly module um, in, in the server side using like Node.js uh, and so on. So really dedicated to that and with some um, project uh, to, to play with. The third one is uh, what is WebAssembly? So this one is um, a, a, bit, a bit too quick for me and um, not, um, not deep in uh, not enough um, deep i will say you still have some really good uh, projects um, that um, are actually that are using WebAssembly and that are detailed right there you have a bunch of stuff regarding WebAssembly in general uh, but uh, for me it's lacking a bit uh, regarding like uh, interesting project to do and so on. it's really more about WebAssembly and what's uh, what is WebAssembly, uh, what is um, WebAssembly is doing and the different components, uh, um, the WebAssembly module, um, the WebAssembly binary format and text format, uh, as well as the WebAssembly runtime. So you, you get a really good understanding of the ecosystem, uh, but you have a less, a less um, exercise. Um, so that's really up to you to decide. It's a pretty recent one. Colin uh, Eberhardt is actually um, one, uh, you, you should take a look at uh, his personal blog post, I think. Uh, he's doing some really good stuff. Um, so uh, that, that's why uh, um, um, it's, a, it's a bit bad uh, in some ways that there is not a lot of practice when, if you take a look at all the uh, blog posts he actually made, uh, it's full uh, practical. So it could have been nice to also include the blog post inside the book, I think. The, um, the other one is the art of WebAssembly. I actually have this one as well. Um, this one is really nice if you are really into WebAssembly, I will say at the, um, at the assembly level, uh, because you will really understand like the different opcodes, the different mechanism, or, or the stack is working, or you can manipulate string, linear memory, and so on. Um, I find it really similar to uh, what I'm teaching uh, in my training regarding WebAssembly uh, reverse engineering and analysis. Uh, we are really using the same um, kind of example and so on. So that's uh, actually really nice. Uh, it's pretty recent uh, as well. So um, it's for me, it's really like a, a go-to uh, if you want to learn more uh, about WebAssembly. The last one is the WebAssembly, uh, the definitive guide. Um, so it's this one right there. Uh, really nice, um, full of example, not just focus on C and C++. That's the good part. If you take a look at the, the table of content, um, you will see that you have a, a bunch of so the classical hello world and so on. You will get 
uh, really uh, a bunch of stuff. But especially, you will get um, WebAssembly module compiled with C and C++. Oh, it's interacting. WebAssembly on the server side. WebAssembly uh, applied with like TensorFlow, with Rust. So you have a bunch of uh, Rust example uh, as well. You also have WebAssembly with .NET, with Blazor, and so on. Um, so really interesting. You also have WebAssembly applied to the cloud with uh, some uh, edge computing. That's also really nice because there is um, some example, but that's not the most um, that's not the most common um, use case and tutorial we are finding on the web. So that's actually really nice. Uh, we have a book that for me is really complete. If you want a book to really start, um, it should maybe be your go-to. Uh, because you will really see WebAssembly in a bunch of different applications. You also have for a decentralized application with like Iwas and Polkadot and so on. So it's more like on the uh, smart contract side. And you have WebAssembly for other languages like um, Go uh, and so on. So um, yeah, definitely uh, really interesting. Um, like kind of an aggregate of multiple tutorial of uh, WebAssembly used um, everywhere, so um, definitely interesting. As I mentioned, I have two more books to uh, mention, but more specific about Rust compiled into uh, WebAssembly. Um, so the first one is Programming WebAssembly with Rust, this one. Um, this one, uh, again, uh, I got it. Um, a tiny... No, not thick enough, uh, I will say. Um, it could have been nice to have uh, a bit more um, material inside. Um, in terms of uh, content, um, that's uh, what you are expecting from a book uh, uh, regarding programming Rust, uh, programming WebAssembly with Rust. Uh, you uh, basically have um, Rust, the different uh, like Wasm. Uh, Bingen and so on, the different uh, applications you, you need to use in order to compile Rust into WebAssembly. So um, really, really useful, uh, really practical. You also have at the same time um, Rust compiled to WebAssembly um, that would be uh, running on the uh, web, uh, on the website, uh, like on the web, and also WebAssembly modules that will run uh, like non-web host meaning uh, it's going to be uh, used locally and so on. So a bunch of stuff, a bunch of examples. Um, that's, uh, that's something interesting. Um, to be honest, I will uh, suggest you to, uh, before buying this one, um, I will suggest you to first take a look at the Rust and WebAssembly online book, totally free. Uh, developed uh, and uh, written by uh, the guy who are uh, creating the support um, of uh, WebAssembly uh, with Rust. Typically, um, the, the guy uh, behind uh, WasmPack, WasmBingen, and so on, like all the um, dedicated library uh, that going to be used to compile Rust code into WebAssembly. So definitely, you should take a look at that, um, and uh, you will see a bunch of useful stuff. Um, if you are doing Rust with WebAssembly, maybe you are more uh, you are focused on like um, a smart contract, uh, like smart contract in Solana and and other language that are cost more them that are basically uh, Rust code compiled into WebAssembly. So yeah, definitely you should take a look at this one. Uh, I will also make some video uh, later on the subject. But that's uh, really, um, I mean, to be honest, if you are doing a Rust and you want to learn WebAssembly, uh, yeah, you should go uh, on this side uh, directly. So uh, that's all for uh, the books. You have uh, those, we have this uh, two page. Um, if you want to learn a bit more about WebAssembly security, I always invite you to take a look at my uh, free uh, courses, this one. Uh, you will see a bunch of, um, um, a bunch of slides of, previous talk I made regarding this section of WebAssembly module, or you can do basically reverse engineering and so on. It's going to be a really good introduction for you to understand more about the WebAssembly binary format, the different instructions and so on, how it's used, uh, what it looks like. And then if you want to even uh, go deeper, uh, I have a dedicated uh, two-day training regarding WebAssembly, reverse engineering and um, uh, analysis. Uh, an advanced analysis. Uh, basically, we are doing like reversing, um, 
disassembly, call flow analysis, a bunch of uh, challenges. Um, we are doing like um, SSA analysis, uh, graph analysis, uh, crypto miner analysis, and so on. So it's really complete. And at the end, we are even doing a bit of hacking of WebAssembly video game. So if you're interested, uh, let me know. Uh, I mean, you have the link on the description below. And uh, I hope uh, it will be uh, interesting uh, for uh, some of you. So um, see you in uh, another video. Please uh, like and subscribe and let me know what you would like to see uh, next. Thank you.